Today we're working on the much anticipated, long awaited laundry room redo. Woo! <laughs> you can tell by my voice, I'm actually really excited about it. Hey, this. I need a nice laundry room if I'm gonna do the laundry. It'll be good. This laundry room is really small and the door opens up into the laundry room. We're gonna just completely eliminate it because when it's open and someone's in here, there's almost no room to walk around. So we're gonna get rid of the door and put a sliding barn style door up above that we're gonna paint and stencil, it'll be great. I've unboxed the barn door slide and here's all the hardware laid out, that's the rail. And then here we've got spacers with the anchors for the studs. Hopefully I can find studs to put those in the rollers. And then these are the stops to keep it from falling off the end. To start out, I'm just going to make a little mark. I need it to be six inches off the ceiling. And that'll give me just about the perfect amount of hang so that it doesn't rub on the carpet. But it pretty much runs across the bottom down there. So that's going to be where the bottom of the rail runs. And then that should give me enough room for the door and the straps and the rollers and everything to go on. Now I need to find the studs. I feel like I've got some good studs here and here. I don't know that I find anything in the middle when I run this across. So right here at the edge I've got some studs. And right here at the edge I've got some studs I can go into. But I'm not finding anything in the center so I'm going to have to see if it'll span. I may have to actually drill some holes in the rail to make it work. Because I want those to be into studs. You can't just put that into sheetrock. That door's really heavy. Alright, let's see if I can line all this up and get this to go where I want the first try. Good news is, I found a stud. It's time to do the stencil layout. We're mostly gonna eyeball it. Jamie would rather I measure, but I'm not feeling it today. <laughs> Seth's not feeling anything. So we've had this outside at the shop for about a year. Nobody's purchased it because the top was plexiglass and it had yellowed. Yesterday in our Waste Not Wednesday Live, we painted the top part of the plexiglass with two coats of little black dress. And today we're gonna to go ahead and stencil it using our JRV stencils in uppercase. We're also gonna be using a part of our laundry room stencil. We're doing it in white swan using our little C stencil brush. It'll be quick and easy, but it'll give it a fun new look. So I'm just offloading the stencil brush, getting it mostly dry so that I don't get any bleed through underneath the stencil. We just want that to go on top. And then I've got the Y off because I'll have to reposition that just a little bit closer to make it fit on the window. These letters are big. Good thing we're distressing it. Ta -da! And then we'll make it look like a chalkboard in just a minute once it's dry. Alright, we're using the R, got the room laid out. I'm using the Q as a placeholder so that I can drop the O over here and spell room. When I'm going to be doing something where I'm just using a portion of the stencil and it's very close to another word, I'll usually use painter's tape and block out those areas so I don't accidentally also stencil those. We've got this centered. We left a little bit of space between here. I'm just going to get this all stenciled up. Ta-da! I actually like that. So we'll let that dry and then we'll just dress it. While we're waiting for paint to dry, I'm going to make a mess of the kitchen floor and drill these holes to hold the runners on. It needs a little persuasion. The nuts on here are 17 millimeter, so I've just got my metric wrench out. 
one size fits all. So we got the door all ready to go and it needs a spacer back here. Even without the trim on, it didn't fit because the door is old and it's really thick. It's not standard thickness on a door these days. So this barn door slider did not work. Now that this is all stenciled, painted, dry, everything, I'm just gonna use my 220 sandpaper and sand the white paint a little bit, smooth everything out. What will happen is the white paint is really pigmented, so it's gonna powder and it'll make it look kinda like a chalkboard. Once that's done, we're gonna spray a sealer on top so that way it's washable and we're good to go. We have a lot of loose paint on here. We have tested it with a kit, so we're not gonna hurt anybody by chipping this up. I'm gonna use this putty knife and scrape up loose paint, and then we'll hose it off with the air hose and we'll be good to go. So I made this little cutout wood dowel and I'm just filling it in this hole. We're going to put a doorknob on it that will just be on the outside. No doorknob on the inside because it has to slide flush up against the wall. It's a non-turning doorknob. The drill's in the basement. I'm too lazy to go run grab it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut the bottom of this door off. Oh my goodness, my measurement was perfect! <laughs> Woo! I thought it was too tall, but the measurement was spot on. All right, so right here, there's a little safety catch it just slides right on the end here. It's got a couple little Allen bolts that screw up in. And that keeps the door from popping off of the run there. That way you can't go farther than intended. was a lot of effort for a door so that I could do like puppets on it with the kids. <laughs> Shadow puppets. I, I have no words. I hope you guys liked watching us take this salvage door and turn it into a salvage barn door. We used our JRV stencils, which was super fun. And we used DIY paint, which made painting over that plexiglass really easy. We sealed it off with top coat, done. We'll drop the links for everything below. Be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com be sure to hit that notifications bell, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. I hope you enjoyed this salvage door, barn door, whatever. What is salvage? You know, they just call what it like it sliding hardware. A salvage barn door. We're going to call that. Yeah. All right, there you go.
hit the subscribe button.